pretty good. It's not coming up, it's just kind of... Oh yeah, it's big. Whenever they go to jump, you're better off trying to pull them through the water column, or trying to pull them, pull them than uh, doing anything. Because one thing that you're gonna do when you lose them, that they get slack on that hook. You don't want to do that. <laughs> this is gonna take me around the butt. Just want to play her out. It's like a five pounder. Another trick is real, real close to your, reel your rod tip, real close to the fish's face and just keep your rod down. It's just tricky with 12 pounds. They try and jump and you pull too hard on them. There is a chance you might break them off, but this fish isn't, it's not pulling that hard. She's just not hooked that great. Come here, come here, come here. Don't wait that angle. There we go. Whew. That's why. That's a good one. That's why we fought her like that. I seen that jig sticking out her face. That's a four and a half pounder. Real skinny today. Four eighty five. Alright fish, back you go. Now we got 24 and a half, and that's not counting that three pounder I caught, so got like 27 today. <laughs> that's funny, do the swim bait, didn't want the swim, oh my god, what's that? Whenever you back off your drag, you really want to make sure you check it, because the last thing you want to do is your drag to slip on a hook set. I'm a really big proponent on when you're fishing fluorocarbon, you're fishing deep, I do not want my drag to slip on the hook set whatsoever. That was a big ball of bait out there. When the fish gets close, I'll hit the button. Sorry, I ran out of battery. Forgot what I was saying, but Let's see, we can't catch any here. It's funny, before this weekend, I kind of shunned three quarter ounce hair jigs. I'm like, ah, they fall too fast. Guys, every fish I've caught on a hair jig this weekend has been on a three quarter. A five eighths is good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like for this deep stuff, three quarter, and it's just, it's a faster moving bait, man. It's just, you can trigger them a lot better. Like I said before, I'd rather make too long of a cast than too short of a cast when I'm fishing out deep. Just cause you get a lot better trajectory when you throw out. Your bait's coming through the water palm a lot more natural. There's a big, big ball of fish or a ball of bait off to the side here. It's funny, this is my swim jig rod. That other rod I was using was just a little too light. I missed a lot of fish because it was too soft yesterday. This is my uh, seven foot four heavy weed eater, or seven three, sorry. I have Alex or Senko, well Senko sticks, make me another. This thing is about it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and catch these. Let's let this pan over one more time. Let's see if they swim towards it or away from it. They swam away. Man, I love fishing shallow, but this offshore game is just so different. I just, I love it. I, it's just you can be so technical. I love laying. 10 rods out on the deck and just cycling through stuff and trying to see what they're gonna eat you know what's the best bait for the day it's just it's a cool cool dynamic i love it i almost picked up the 10 xd before i picked up the hair jig too <laughs> Thank you. 
And the reason I'll throw an extra long cast is if the fish are grouped, I mean, you see them grouped up here in front of it, but if they, if they group up or they slide back a little bit, you get a chance of getting, getting a bite out of those. I don't know what they're sinking out here, but I like it. I can't, I can't, I, I'm really having a hard time getting my baits hung on it, which is awesome because you can put your stuff right in the deal. Dude, there is a pod of fish, like. A pot of fish like right here they're actually about to be right in the boat right in front of the boat here Right under the boat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's a I need to slide back. I need to slide the boat back just a little bit. I fish it right under the boat. I don't know how big this one is. It's a big one. Could have come off so easy too. She caught me off guard on that jump. She like double jump. Thank you for the step, Bass Cat. It's very convenient for fighting big and got it. Oh, it's like a five or six pounder. <clears throat> Don't do it. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I've died and gone to heaven. Look at this tub. The jaw feels weird. Like I can feel it moving. Like right here. Six. 88. We now have 31.37 pounds. <laughs> I think we're going to break yesterday's weight, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Big old lazy fish. Oh, look at this. Spit up a little shad. That or that there's shad down there that stirred up. All right. Thank you, Mr. Hair Jig. That was cool of you. That was such a cool bite. I'm glad you guys got to see it on the 360. Oh god. What a bite. <laughs> It was right there is one. Boom. Oh, look at this. Now they're on the deal. See all the specks? Oh my god. <laughs> kind of got a pick at them, but man, they're down there. Wish it was every cast, but I, I, I'm not complaining. You see me playing with my drag a lot. I was clicking it and doing, you know, all that stuff to, so I could manage the line with my thumb. It's a, you're a lot better off doing that, but. When I clicked it over to grab the fish, I backed the drag off in case the fish made like a last minute surge on me or something. I just wasn't ready. So you got to think of small things like that. You know what I'm thinking is that eight pounder I caught was right here. And that fish I caught was right there. 
so they may be piled up under the boat all right here, here comes a big one Could have just called me and asked me if you want to know if they're there. Yeah, we'll have to find what you're on. I got every fucking place out here. I know you do. Just stay out of my way, or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. Catch them. Doing all right. Nice.
Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this thing! Oh, dude, the other one was just as big! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! 1036. Oh my freaking god. Dude, this thing looks bigger every time I look at it. Oh, look at the size of this one, guys. Look at the size of this one. It's my biggest bass I've ever caught in Highlands County right there, baby. Oh my god. Wow, baby that's my second biggest bass ever oh my god and I had another one this size oh my god oh that could have been insane holy crap oh my god Woo! let's throw back in there again what do you say how about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say? I ticked that pile, came about five feet off it, and both these big suckers ate it. Oh, I wish I would have caught both. That would have been insane. I knew I either had a catfish, had two, or had them snagged. That was just... Oh my god. <sighs> See if I would have been throwing a swim bait, I would have only caught one of them. Obviously, but I think I would have pulled the other one off the deal, you know. I never would have had the shot at least catching it. That's insane. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the end of the video, unfortunately. Um, after that fish, I pretty much caught nothing the rest of the day, the, the rest of that afternoon. And uh, speaking of afternoon, Look at this guy. She's pretty. But um that was it. I mean that was that was the end of my day pretty much right there. I did a lot I fished a lot of other spots that were similar to that one where I caught those where I hooked those double ten pounders and uh just never uh never ran across anything else. So you know I probably caught a couple one or two pounders, but I was having camera issues literally after that fish catch and uh uh, thank God I was after because that was that was an amazing, amazing freaking thing that happened. I've always I've hooked doubles before in my life. I've caught doubles, but to have two ten pounders on the line that doesn't happen every day. And uh, I really messed up on that fish because I had her coming down, and I went to I went to swing the rod around to kind of turn them so I could just come and scoop them and you know. I really don't know what I was gonna do, but I was gonna try and grab them there because they, they looked like they were kind of just oriented a little bit. And when I did that, that one just freaked out and she pulled off. But I got a 10 pounder out of it. Could have had two, but it is what it is, you know. That was badass. <laughs> That's all I could say. Um, but guys, the next videos, the next set of videos are gonna that I wanna drop are gonna be my practice actually pre-practice practice and the tournament footage and it's i'm going to break them down into different videos for the aba two-day area championship that just occurred last week and i'm not i'm not going to give up any spoilers most of you watching saw the tournament you know you know you know what happened who won and all that but uh if you didn't 
don't go don't go find out just watch all the videos see everything unfold because it's a pretty cool process of from practice to the tournament how everything came together and uh i, I think you guys are going to enjoy this, this next couple of videos because uh i know i will so uh guys like subscribe um channel's almost to a 300 viewers I'm, i mean what am i saying subscribers I didn't even get your guys' names right. I called you viewers. Now you're subscribers and viewers. But um, we're almost 300. And we're going to try and bump those numbers up because who doesn't like more subscribers, you know? Well, I need to get to 1,000 so I can start making money off this stuff. And then I'll really be motivated. And then, you know, I'll start buying drones and all that cool stuff. But for now, we're GoPro game. But uh, as it's getting dark, I got to go and edit start editing the practice video for the aba right now so like subscribe and let's do this thing <laughs>